I also wanted to discuss, well, you, you mentioned before the call that previous, in the previous business, you guys went through a number of acquisitions where you were incorporating external businesses into the sales and sales ops team. Do you have any thoughts on how to do that effectively? Any key insights from that? Because that's not actually a topic we've broached before on this podcast. Yeah, I mean, I think probably anybody who's been around in a you know medium to large size organization um, at some point in their career has has had to be a part of either be acquired or be or be the acquiree, uh, you know, um, acquirer, I guess. Um, and so I think M and A is probably something that a lot of us, if we haven't you know been introduced to it in our career, will eventually. Um, and so. You know, I had the um, opportunity to be a part of a lot of these. We we did over thirty in my time there, and um, you know, some of them were small, some of them were, you know, ten twenty million dollar companies, but some of them were, you know, three four hundred million dollar companies as well. So um, very different, obviously, integrating a small organization versus a large one. I mean, you know, your ten twenty million dollar companies have one one or two sales reps that kind of hold multiple roles, and so you know when you bring that person or those people into a larger sales organization and you try to look at how do I, you know, scale, take, take their knowledge and scale it across my entire sales team. Um, so I can get the benefit of the acquisition. 